Okay, let's take a look at some things that um, you would do in a calculus class, okay? And if someone were to ask me, you know, what it is that is go actually going on in calculus, I would say it's, you know, just algebra with really, really small numbers. Now, now from the get-go, you know, you won't be using very small numbers in your calculations, okay? There's more, there's more direct methods to make these calculations, but um, fundamentally, um, this is what calculus is all about. So here I go. Okay, so let's say I have a function. I want to find the rate of change of this function. Okay, something we've probably done before. Um, if this looks any familiar, you know, the slope of a line. We just use this formula right here, and we get change in y over change in x. Okay, and a lot of calculus involves um, just initial approximations, just like um, you know we used to do. So, so let's say that I wanted to find out, I wanted to find out right there what exactly was going on. That's my point of investigation. We'll call that, yeah, we'll call that one. And let's use another point for reference. Okay, so I'm really just doing the same thing. And if I were to take the slope of this line right here, I would find out pretty quick that it approximates um, the rate of change in between those two points. Okay, which really, it, I mean, it's really not what we want to do, but everything fundamentally in calculus starts out with an approximation. Okay, um, and right here, even look at the function, it's going down, it's decreasing, and our approximation is increasing. So it's definitely not a very good approximation, we could probably do better. And notice where this point comes from. Actually notice where both of these points come from. These would be my x values. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I'm going to just scoot this over a little bit. I'm going to scoot it over and I'm going to scoot it over over to here. Okay? So this is no longer x sub 2. This is now x sub 2. So I get x sub 2, y sub 2, and why don't I just draw a line in between them? And that will be my new approximation to the rate of change of this here function. Okay, so that's much better. I mean, it's going down. It's 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 really not good, but it's 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 much better. Okay, um, this is this is what it involves. Okay, and we keep on repeating this process until we run into a little bump. Okay. Eventually, is x x sub two as I keep moving it over and I move it over and over and over. Eventually, I'm going to be right dead on top of this other point. Two things happen. If I'm right, if I'm dead on top of that point, I have zero change in x, don't I? And if I have zero change in x, then I have zero change in y. So I end up with a zero over zero situation, which you know that that's it's called an indeterminate form. You'll learn about that later, but it's it's something we don't want to deal with. Um, second of all, if if I only have one point, my line disappears, right? I, I mean, I have to have two points to define a line. So if I don't have the two points, it's a showstopper, okay? Now what calculus does, okay, is I say, we say that, yeah, there is another point here, okay? We say there is another point, okay? It's just... It's just that this other point is an infinitely small distance from this other point. Okay, so there's two points on there, and one is just—I mean, it's—it's it's so close to this point that we couldn't even imagine how close it is. But it's—it's it's, and 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 we kind of you know you kind of treat it like a variable, just like some unknown quantity, and then you can actually um, approximate. Uh, well, you can get an exact answer from your approximation. Okay, um, and that's um, yeah. Call it the derivative. Who cares, right? Okay. I know we all care. Okay. Next thing uh, we can do is areas. Okay. We can find areas of things. Okay. So you have you have an an area under here, and I can just fill it in with rectangles. Now these little blue dots, you know, m make this an approximation. But hey, that's pretty much the way calculus starts out. Okay, we start we start out with an approximation, and then we work our way down and see if we can't um, make things better. Now, all I have to do if I wanted to approximate the area, 
you know the area is just length times width very easy okay and then I find the area of one area of two area of three and so on um, I don't know what are like there's over ten of them there but I just add them all up and I get an approximation to the area under this thing okay um, if I wanted to do better than that I would just do something very similar to what we did in the last uh, thing with the rate of change I would just shrink all these all these rectangles I would shrink them down until smaller rectangles and of course as I make thinner smaller rectangles I, I, add, I have to add more rectangles so if I divided every one of these rectangles in half I'd have twice as many rectangles I, I might be about twice as accurate though too okay and what we keep on doing is we just divide them up until we have an infinite amount of rectangles a little tricky the math to do that but we can do it and and you know if we sum up all those that infinite sum of rectangles we will actually get the exact area under here okay uh, a consequence of doing that though is if you really think about it if we add up an infinite amount of rectangles and we get a finite number how did we how did we add a infinite amount of terms and get a finite number it's kind of weird right well that's another part of calculus called the infinite series okay it turns out you can take a fine or you can get a finite number out of an infinite amount of terms you know you add up an infinite amount of numbers um, now this first one isn't this is just a regular finite series um, but as you can see it's another way to represent the number 55 okay um, and one-third that's just three repeating point three repeating okay well that's actually an infinite series okay it's this uh, series right here okay um, the dots mean everything in between it's just shorthand notation um, but hey you know it goes forever I add it up I get a finite number um, another thing we can do also is a function of x I can also like for instance cosine x kind of kind of get a nasty formula but you know this this series right here as it goes on forever is exactly cosine x okay really good example of an infinite series comes if you had kind of looks like the function we had earlier when we t when we actually found the rate of change okay but what but unless I have a, a curved tape measure okay I'm gonna have to do some actual calculations to figure out the length of this and furthermore what if this is something huge what if this is like you know what, what if this is like the you know like some land or some huge architectural wonder I mean and you know, it's hundreds of feet long and you know just really no way to really uh, put a tape measure on that right so we chop the line up in the little pieces just like we chopped up um, you know the the uh, underside of underbelly of the curve in the last one we just chopped it up in little rectangles okay and then we added up all the rectangles well this one we just we just, we just connect the dots straight lines are easy to measure okay we can just use the distance formula right but if we want to get if we want to improve our accuracy okay maybe maybe you've got something really expensive you know maybe you're maybe maybe this thing's made of copper or something like that well same thing happens we just divvy it up we keep going and eventually what do we have we have an infinite amount of line segments here and there and calculus will teach us how to actually add them up and we'll get a finite number which is the actual length of this curve okay so that's my conclusion and it's just a uh, kind of um, you know what is going to happen you know sort of thing you know and what what uh, what, what sort of uh, tools you'll be using and uh, what kind of things you'll be calculating so thanks